Hello, Aquarius. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. I'm Elle. Um, let's get started, okay? So, um, let's jump into the thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius Collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, uh, clear message, but very firm, okay? Um, when I was shuffling off camera for you, it seems as if the universe wants you to not slip into religion or doing something religiously or routine or regimen. I don't know if you're doing something every single day. Maybe at this point, it's to prove to yourself that it's going to happen, that this is happening for you, that it is... Um, maybe even a protective measure for you. But the cards want you to know that um, it's almost like they're saying, look, you don't have to do it every day. We got you. The universe has you. Um, you're shielded. The shield, the shield maiden came out. Aquarius, it looks like something very abundant, fruitful, something that you have been hoping, wishing for, praying for, something that you are without. You, are, you want to come into you, come into your life. Um, you've been doing something ritualistically to bring it in, whatever that is. Okay. But it says make plans before you move forward or have your plans in order, your strategy in order before you move forward. Um, with the shield made in here. Yeah. It, it says that take some time to think about what it's going to look like for you to, for some of you to maintain this level of abundance that's coming into your life. The Shaolin, the Shaolin master is coming out. It says be graceful in movement. Okay. Some of you are exerting too much energy, too much force to actually make something happen, to actually see it. This could be in love. This could be in career and finance. Um, some of you, you just need to take some of that energy out of, uh, out of, uh, out of anxiety. So some of you have like, you know, it's bringing you a level of anxiety because something is still up in the air. A decision, a final decision hasn't been made about you fill in the blank. Um, therefore you keep praying about it. You keep asking about it. You keep getting tarot card readings about it. You keep talking about it. You keep worrying about it in some fashion, some form. Some of you are really trying to make some some uh really a big move maybe even like a business move for some of you it will be starting a business it says make sure your plans are in order make sure that you're going to see it through you're not going to just start it and then not finish it the shield maiden also talks about uh in medieval times um women were uh you know equal to men so they 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 accompany the men on the battleground, you know? So some of you are trying to bring into your life or bring into a fruition something that um, a, maybe a man would do, okay? You know, in our society, um, maybe like a masculine, you're, you're really acting in your masculine energy for a lot of my Aquarius women. You have an idea, you're moving on it. You're, you're like tunnel vision on seeing this through. You need it to work for you. At this point, there's been so much energy spent, you know, expended to the point of maybe you, you're even getting to a place of depletion or it's obsession. You obsessively want this thing to happen for you. It could be love. It could be career. It could be finance. We do have the nine of pentacles, um, kind of, um, giving us some insight about what this is about. So, it looks like, again, you're going to come into some level of abundance here, but the cards want you to have a plan in place, some strategy in place to maintain this level because this is not permanent. Nothing in life is. So what will you have in place to maintain this business, this money, whatever it may be, this new um life of luxury you got the nine of cups coming up wow can't make it up and then you have the four of wands following it then you have the sun card you know the universe is really going to bless you if you will with uh 
all of this energy, all of these good things, you know, um, completion, successful completion to the project. It says that whatever you're working for, it's not that it's not going to happen, but the universe wants you to take your hands off of it. You know, ease back. Doubt is creeping in and how you are dealing with doubt is to go all in, to do more, to overexert yourself, to be obsessive about it. And that is not how you deal with doubt. You, you, you fight doubt with the thought of, you know, positivity of, of the positive outcome, what it looks like to have this thing, this new job, this new car, this new home, this relationship to get married. So it's like, I don't know if you're praying about something, if you're doing some energy work about something each and every day. I think we had a, in the last reading too, every day, you were doing something every day. Um, scale it back because the universe is saying, look, you just need to focus, focus and harness your energy for the next plan, for, for, for excuse me, for actual plans after it comes into you. What does four of wands, sun card, the nine of cups, nine of pentacles look like for you? How are you going to maintain all of this energy? How will you be when you have this, whatever it is, when you have this new home, when you have that baby, when you have that marriage, when you have a life of luxury? Will you be a giver? Will you be stingy? Will you be open? Will you make opportunity for other people? Will you, you know, so what are the plans after? And that's what you need to be thinking about, the aftermath. So I would implore you to take some time, get your journal out and write what it looks like after you have your new home, your new car, your new baby, your new husband. What will you do? Will you cook breakfast every morning? Will you, I mean, get down to the details of it. What will you do? What will you do on the weekends? Are you going to visit, you know, farmer's market? What, I mean, what does it look like in order to maintain this level of abundance that's coming into you, Aquarius? Be, and, and you're definitely waiting for it. It is coming, okay? Uh, with the Three of Wands coming out also. Uh, it talks about take the lead on this. Expansion, the next level, growth. It says um, there's goodness or good things happening in all aspects of your life. Uh, it talks about um, maybe commerce, doing business, having put something out and waiting for the return or result. Again, taking the lead. You have this Aquarius. It's in the bag. But the universe now wants you to do what you need to do to maintain it. Af the aftermath, the, the after effect, you know, are they going to give you all these things and then you're going to try to plan while you have them? Or is it best to plan and strategize now? Um, so when you do have this abundance, whatever it is you're trying to bring into yourself, um, you already know how to maintain it. I'm going to do this every single day. When I get this new business, I'm going to work eight hours every single day. Um, or I'm going to work 10 hours or, or, you know, I'm going to employ someone. I'm going to whatever, you know, um, whatever it looks like. The universe wants you to know that they have, wow. Wow, I didn't see this. Okay, so you have counterparts here. For some of you, this is going to be a relationship. You have the Earth Mother. You have the Earth Father and the Sky Father. So the sky and then the Earth, they meet. Okay, so you have counterparts here. So it's going to be a relationship for some of you. Um, and it's also some of you just listening to the universe, your God, whatever that is, or whomever that is, whatever you believe in. Um they are protecting you. They're protecting your wishes and your hopes and your dreams. They will bring it to fruition. They need you to kind of ease up. Earth Mother is protecting you. You should feel loved and comforted. Um, some of you, there might be like an opportunity. I don't even call it an opportunity, but there might be an event where you met with other loved ones, maybe even a mother. Um, and there could be argument. There could be something coming up from the past about mother and father some of you need to uh you want to talk to your mother about your father you also want to talk to you might talk to your mother it's just like some of you need to heal the mom and the dad relationship or you need to heal the the father relationship or you need to heal the mother relationship the connection 
you know, has had its its tension. So it's like, okay, let's have the conversation now. But the cards want you to stay in um stay in an energy of the Shaolin master. Uh so that means be in the energy of um not expending too much of force. Don't force anything. If someone doesn't want to, wow, you're gonna get what you really, really want, Aquarius. Um if someone doesn't want to talk about it, they don't want to go there, ease up, walk, you know, walk it back, move away from the conversation. It's okay. You can't force anything. Uh, if you have to sit with loved ones, of course, in this holiday season, if you, uh, if you engage, if you uh, celebrate, then have a plan of how you will deal with conflict. Okay. And uh, maybe you'll be the peacemaker. You'll be the Shaolin master, you know, that you just need to take deep breaths and maybe even walk away. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. A uh, congratulation on yeah, congratulations in on this newfound you know abundance because something is definitely coming into you guys. Um, you've done a lot of energy work to bring it in. They say ease up, just back off, you know, just you know, thank, you know, thank your God or whatever energy helped you bring it in, you know, and, and move on, but you don't have to ritualistically do something each and every day. And if you find yourself doing that, do know that that is doubt in your mind and you're doing it only for you at this point. And, uh, you need, you might need to rectify that, you know? Okay. So if you need to get your own personal reading Aquarius, you can go over to the website book there. Also, you could purchase something from my Amazon wish list. uh, the link will be below. And if you would like to take tarot classes with me, you can do that. The link is below. Also, um, you could find me on keen.com Aquarius. If you feel like you want to talk to me, if you want to have a chat with me, you can chat with me for 10 minutes on keen.com for one ninety nine. I know 10 minutes with me, one ninety nine. can't beat it. The link is below also. And if you're having trouble following that link, please send me an email and let me know so we can get you all squared away. Um, I'm also on Facebook, so take advantage of that. I'm going to put that link below. And I go live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. Tuesday and Thursday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Sunday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.